Am I still, I might still be really choppy. What the hell? I don't know. Okay. No, uh, it might be smoother. Uh, anyways, um, some of you guys who were just here two minutes ago can probably submit again your uh, contributions. <laughs> I was less choppy before. Really? Hmm. I got no explanation. Wait, Holy, we could just farm this? We could. We absolutely could, but I, uh, ah, whatever. Okay, uh, I guess let's get started here. We haven't done scans in, like, forever. Uh, well, we don't know, because I had six, but I only could develop five at a time, so I think we have to letter this A1. I refresh, it won't let me contribute again. Twitch, please, we need to activate Windows. <laughs> All right. Um, so what did we usually do prior to this? We would do... F13, 1 2 50th, and ISO 100. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. My setup isn't even, like, fully proper right now. Yo, know, I feel like I'm chopping up, but if you guys are fine, then it's fine, right? Matt, welcome. Okay, we'll just go in whatever order. Um, there's... There's a few, there's a whole roll of keyboard shots, and then there's keyboard shots on a couple other rolls, and then some with none at all. So I'm trying to get uh trying to get a good amount here on the screen or in frame. Kind of uh reducing the amount of black on the top and the bottom. Double contribution fully sick, hell yeah. Alright. I don't know how much this might cut it off, so uh, let's test. Let's test a couple of frames. By the way, Chris, are you going to get the lily? Uh, I intend to.
I programmed in barbell bench for the next month of weight and maintenance training and I'm not excited. Oh. All right. So before we continue, I think this is too zoomed in. Also pretty crooked. Um, or at least this, this portion of the, uh, sprocket hole blockers are i don't remember if i asked where you're going to keep life uh also something i'm intending to gawk welcome 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 all right so uh let's let's adjust Speaking of the lily, okay. All right, cool. Let's redo this. Remove, delete, restart at one, and let's go. If you kind of want the lily, um, what is this a pick of? I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember. Probably a plant. Oh, uh, I think it's a like a cactus. <laughs> You know what I need? I need my trackball, which is in the corner over there. There we go. Yes, this is in the, uh, I believe this is the Chino Botanical Garden. Rocket hole blocker keeps extending out. And I feel like I should probably get around to fixing that. So it can be a little annoying is when tethering, I can't pre-rotate the pictures. So like if I rotate it here, I could see the, oh, I could see the preview rotated, but then it'll still take the picture or the, the digital scan upside down. This 
was probably an accidental exposure. Oops. This is Alex's dogs. Straight up, I asked, is there any way to develop your own negatives? Yes, I do. So I just did these light, uh, late last night. And then I gave them a day to dry. Um, when I went to that photo center, um, that only does black and white. Um, what's interesting is, uh, or what's cool is they have one of those like drying machines. So like drying finishes in like 15 minutes. Here in this case, it'll take like at least at least an hour, but I always like try to give it at least half a day just to be safe. Corn, thank you for the uh, three stream streak. Well, I feel like, what side is it? Does it need to be pushed up? Oh, by the way, I wasn't sure if you're interested, but I saw Anka was selling an HHKB Kiju. I don't know what that is, but yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like Ankit definitely has some heat for sure. Oh, I think this is from the meetup, the Sacramento meetup. Lysol board bump on mount. Bump on mount. That's pretty interesting. Oh, who is that? Hey, I remember this day. Oh shit. <clears throat> All right, this one's way off center. Let's redo this one. You know, I kind of want to pull this whole thing apart. Um, and adjust the uh the blocker, the sprocket hole blocker.
So I might do that. All right, here's some boards. Thing is, I think this is on, yeah, this is gold 200. So I wonder how these will even expose. We'll find out. We don't even have a inversion preset on it right now. I remember I was doing this shoot and then uh, I was like, oh, maybe I should take shots of the backs, but uh, I did these like all completely out of order. <clears throat> I'll DM links he posted yesterday, so I don't know if it's still available. Okay, appreciate it. Tell me you took some back shots. I did. I saw mixed bangers. I'm still waiting on the Julie 60. I'm excited for that. Zezio, by the way, welcome back. Got a Julie R2? Yes. Selling R1 Julie kind of got me tempted. Ah. I read Winky List of black PBD weights. I went all black. All black everything. I'm going to be lurking back in a bit. Alright. Thanks for the lurk. Alright, this should be the last one of the roll. But before we uh, continue... Alright, uh, two things what we'll do. Uh, so we got, yes, HHKB. Um, I'm going to do inversions on this roll. And then uh, after that, we're gonna we're gonna pull apart the uh, the holder, and then try to see if we can make some adjustments. All right. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is that right there, which is uh, white balance based off of the frame, and then from there, I'm gonna do this, and then sync all of the crops as well as the uh, the white balance. Now, from here, what we might notice is, so it's a little bit off right there, and it's probably gonna be a little bit off on a lot of these. So just kind of shift it a little bit. And this one like quite a bit. We do this, uh, 36 times. You know, I never, I know this is the way you're supposed to do this. And I've known from the beginning, this is the way you're supposed to do this, but I've still never done it uh, until like pretty recently, maybe like a couple months ago. And it does make it easier. That's for sure. Even though I got R2, uh, I just have considered grabbing it. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think I have buyer's remorse over the full copper S60 V2. <laughs> I wish that I had just gotten a full alu one. But I don't know, maybe it'll be fine. All right, a lot of these are now like positioned here. So maybe I can just sync this until it stops. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's better. Is it the weight of the board you don't enjoy? Yes. I missed what you said. What board? S60 V2. I got the full copper and wished I just got the Yalu. Over burgundy plus copper bottom. I am thinking of just going for uh, regular burgundy in addition to the copper. I think the copper is fine. Whatever. It's just, if I want to enjoy using it, it's probably just got to be an alu. That's good. I'm really sure I've been lately I've been listening to Mahler's Eighth Symphony a lot. That's chill. Alright. And then last thing before we run the immersion, I'm gonna rotate everything. I don't know which way is up for some of these. Let's do this. So I'm going to run this uh, inversion in full, all 36 negatives. And meanwhile, uh, I'm going to grab this guy and we're going to crack this open. So that's the other thing for the lurk. So I've done this before. Let's do this again. <clears throat> Aristus, thanks for the uh, contribution. Welcome. So I think it's just this one I need to do. There's two sides to it. All right, the inversion is finished already. Anyways, I pull this out. If you take a look. I taped on these blockers, um, except this side is just a little too wide and uh, protrudes out a little too much. I don't know the best way to fix that. I think we just need to pull this apart. Just try again. Hmm. 
Okay, so you can see that there's some double-sided tape um, that I put on. It needs to just sit in deeper. I don't know if I just need to put in more tape. Mm, need something really flat. So maybe, uh, maybe like a bit, for example, a really thin bit, just to kind of press it down into place and then make sure that the adhesive sort of sticks where it needs to. Fortunately, kind of I'm doubtful that did anything. I'm wondering if I need to just actually kind of trim it out. Grab some double sided tape. What's the best way to do this? I have those little craft scissors, I don't know. Oh, here it is. I just added more tape. Let's see if this works. Get it, Lily. Yes, I intend to get the lily. I'm deciding the color. There's some great colors. The blue gray looks really good. Ooh, so good.
Hmm. I need to find something a little thinner. Just really try to press it in. Try to figure out what though. Remember these? These eclipse glasses? All right, let's see if this works. Hopefully it's better. I don't know though. I don't remember though, the last time I saw anything was the most recent eclipse. Uh, we were looking at the eclipse glasses Yesterday? I don't know if it was yesterday. All right. You see, I don't. Okay, um, we'll test that out in a little bit, but if you guys want to see the inversions that we just did here, This is the uh, Avia by everyone's favorite guy. Oh shit. Uh. Anyways, here's that cactus. So some of these we can probably do something else with. Oh fuck, hold up. Oh, I fucked up. Um, I didn't do the roll. We're supposed to do the roll analysis. Sorry, my bad. I didn't check this box. All right, we have to wait again. <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I'll try setting this up. Checking our alignment. Oh, this will be pretty quick here. Look like a hairy anus in the negative. A sharp... Like a hair, like an anus with sharp hairs. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think it worked. Very cool. All right. Look at that later. Let's get back to this. Oh, shit. All right, it looks a little cooler now. All right, so now this will be cool because we go here. This is what this looks like, but we can sort of make some extra color adjustments. Which is still a little tough. It's a very yellowish image of a hairy anus.
Yeah, some of these are a little weird at the botanical garden. I think this this looks upside down. Well, oh, this is a good one. Whoa, <laughs> this one looks crazy. This is the same tree. But it's funny, this one just got exposed so much differently. Album cover. <laughs> whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, all right, whatever. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but uh, Andrew ended up buying me one of these rings. <clears throat> Early 2000s alt rock. Oh, I like this picture. Great picture. A plus. Dog. Dog. Dogs. Ryan, you gotta buy some Dark Souls rings from Etsy at some point. Gotta do it. Mm, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> I like how this thing hasn't worked properly. Uh most of the time. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah, excellent. Like, I, I've gotten this to work a small handful of times, but it's nearly never. I feel like this was, this might have been built for Mac OS and was just not ported over properly. <clears throat> Color picker will, oh, okay. Color picker will only work if the graphics acceleration is turned off. Let's see if I have that off. Um, I also, I need to set this, we'll hit apply. Um, preferences. Off. There it is. And then it just like breaks down. <laughs> it completely falls apart.
trying to find something <laughs> something that'll make this picture right and i feel like <clears throat> it just won't happen Probably the best we'll get. All right, totally underexposed. It is shadow weighted. Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere with this. <clears throat> oh, this is a cool one. Yeah, some of these that end up in uh, round one end up being really good. I like this. Hey, I'll know who that is. Hey, y'all know who that is. All right, here's our uh, keyboard with shelves pictures. All right, so these are <clears throat> these are on gold 200. So I'm just like not sure that these are going to be fully represent like <laughs> this one's just going to be a fully rough one cuz this board's supposed to be brown, you know? It's a little hard to represent here. It's like it looks so good. Pull that exaggeration down, it still kind of does nothing. <clears throat> oh, look at this monstrosity. Oh, this is the monoflex. Yeah, these didn't turn out so hot. So what happened was uh, I was trying to use my 105 uh, E mount, or I guess not E mount, but like the um, the F mount 105 E Nikon lens. Uh, the problem is on a film camera, it's basically fixed to uh, F 1.4. Um, it'll only <laughs> you can only stop down on. DSLRs and mirrorless. So a lot of these are going to be a little... Uh... Anyways. Let's try uh, Let's try doing one of these uh, other rolls here with... Um... 
the adjustments I made to the Spraga hole blocker. Oh, I didn't turn it on. <clears throat> All right. Sure, so this is uh, at some show. Uh, let's see. I think this might have been Isaiah Rashad. Um, but I was pretty far back for most of the show, so there might be a whole lot of nothing on this one. I guess one thing to take note is, uh, the Spraka hole blockers do look a whole lot better. And it's not like readjusting itself to get all fucked up. So I'm at least happy with that. I think those eclipse glasses helped. Yeah, one second. All right. <clears throat> All right, got a bunch of phones in focus on this one. Excellent. Probably go faster than this. I think the hardest part is trying to make sure that we're centered.
this is a show where uh, I needed to ask a worker for some tape because my T3 is a little messed up. It won't hold the film while it tries to wind itself. See that there's like a piece of a little dust there. Could just be on the film or it's on the underside where I can't really brush it off. Who is playing Isaiah Rashad, <clears throat> a TD rapper under uh, uh, you know the Kendrick label or former Kendrick label. Seeing a TDA to listen to Schoolboy Q's new album? Not yet, actually. I've been meaning to, and then uh, I didn't because I've been spending most of my time asleep. <laughs> Today was a weird day for me. I uh, woke up at noon, kind of did nothing, remembered that there was probably an NBA game on national t TV. So I watched that for uh, about a quarter. <laughs> And then I fell back asleep. So good, I gotta listen to it. I'll probably listen to it in uh, tomorrow. I tried to make up for my entire lack of productivity for the first, uh, you know, over half of my day <clears throat> by uh, trying to do my taxes. I actually have a pretty pretty good amount done I would say um, still need some work I still need to do some taxes uh, some more some stuff on my taxes but uh good amount of it is done I am hoping that I'm hopeful that I'll have a, a refund that is okay Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, one thing is um, Shopify hasn't sent me any tax documents, but I think I could still do it without it. So I have to like get on Shopify's support, like bug them about it, and we'll see what happens. But I, I think I think I might actually be okay, even if they don't get back to me in a timely manner. So there's a couple of shots here that look not bad. Okay, so I did just mix this all this new chemistry last night. So, uh, you know, to be safe about uh, how good this chemistry will be and last, I need to uh, get back into shooting more. I've not been contacted about shooting any shows, so I think I just need to do more shooting myself in general. 
which uh, I'll probably be taking out my camera more. Um, but I'm also, I haven't touched my Contact 645 in a while. So I'll probably do more keyboard shoots with it. But I probably should have them be more interesting than just over white shelves. Oh. And what the hell is this? Oh, I know what this is. Paint the shelves. <laughs> no, it's funny because it's just like I have like seamless backdrops and stands and stuff. It's just that like I have lost the space to be able to use it very effectively. It's kind of ridiculous. I'll, uh, I'll be honest. Oh, there you can kind of see right here. It's creeping back in. I don't know if creeping is the right word. It kind of is, damn it. Ugh, how annoying. Oh yeah, that's the end of it. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Or is it this? Oh, maybe it's that. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. It's actually this, huh? This whole time? All right. Um, I'm not going to invert this right away. We could do that at the end. Um, I'll just continue along with the scanning portions. So we have three more rolls. don't exactly know what this is. Let's find out. Oh. What is this? Oh, I think this is the very end of uh, that botanical garden. But I think this is where we start seeing some of uh, Vin's wedding. Oh, wow. Totally out of focus. Whoops.
Hey, I know her. All right, this is some show. Oh, this might be uh, Wobble Land, maybe? No, no, it's not. I don't know yet. I don't know what this is yet. This might be Wobble Land. It seems like it. You can see the fan right there. I think this is, uh, I was making fun of, uh, Angel's food. Angel got the kids ramen. What is this? Oh, I think this is cow. Wow. Okay. I, I'm not sure what this picture looks like, but the negative actually looks pretty good. This is cow putting something in Angel's backpack. <laughs> tell where these stop and start okay so we go back here 20 is about a third in so this should be like maybe here ish I don't know, man. <laughs> Things about here. I'm head out. All right, Matt. Thanks so much for dropping by. Appreciate it. I hope you have a good one.
Oh, this is the start of Isaiah Rashad. All right. So there's a weird order. Gone a little bit out of order, but. Crazy how February just came and went, huh? You welcome. Oh, good to see you. How goes it? Playing RDR2 for the first time lately. Ah. Fun. All right. On to the next. I know what this role is. This is one of, uh, we were fostering that big nipple baby dog. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so uh, over the holidays, we fostered a dog, me and my brother. We fostered a dog uh, for like a week. And uh, she was a baby who just had babies. And she had these uh, huge nipples. <laughs> she was so cute. At first, I was a little turned off by the huge nipples, but... Uh, she was very charming. A little crazy. She was a like a 70 pound pit bull who was like two years old. And uh, I don't know, she just got major zoomies all the time. Kind of a little out of control, but she was very sweet. She had sweet eyes. And, uh, I don't know. I miss her. She was cute. She always tried waking us up by licking us. And, uh, <clears throat> like, if I was on my bed... She'd not only lick my head, but she'd also, like, step all over my head, too. She'd step all over my head, lick my head. And her saliva was kind of, um, like, uh, really irritating to my skin. And I think my brother's skin, too. And we don't have dog allergies. I was reading about, like, why some dogs, uh, like, when they lick you, it, like, itches real bad. And it turns out, like, different dogs just, like, have different protein makeups. And some of them, some dogs, when they lick you, it's totally fine. 
Phoebe, her saliva was like totally like itchy and irritating. Um, I've had other, I've tried, I've felt other dog saliva where it's like kind of all like thick and slobbery. And some, uh, you know, dogs are just different. Anyways, um, this is a role that uh, I, I think a lot of this is. Um, my brother was trying to put a harness on her. And uh, it's not that she hated the harness. It's that she was so confused. She just kept trying to, like, bite it while, uh, while my brother was putting it on her. And instead of helping my brother... I just took pictures instead. <laughs> Seemed like the better move, I think. I think it took him like a good like 25 minutes to put it on her. I miss her. I wonder if she got adopted or if she might still be at the shelter. It was like two months ago. I don't know. I, I got a little sad thinking about her. I think if I, uh, if I lived in a big house, I would have adopted her. <laughs> it's just that I don't live in a big house. My mom does. <laughs> Kev is building a unicorn. Where do these people still get unicorns? I have no idea. I, is it maybe a commission? I don't know. I did see, I did see though that he was building one. Oh, oh, yeah, by this point, 13 exposures in, uh, I guess the hardness still was not on her. Yeah, I have a dog. I, I had a dog when I was really, really little, or I had two dogs when I was really, really little, but like we, I don't think we took care of them well. My dad mostly took care of them. And I don't think he did a good job. And I mean, I wish that, like, in retrospect, I wish that I had a bigger hand in taking care of them. But, um, you know, I was just too young. Too young to really understand, I guess. I've taken care of dogs. Um, and I think, like, as I've been older, um, you know, I, I've come to and learned to be more appreciative. Um, but... Uh, I've never personally, like, had a dog, like, just me, and just having one. I don't know. I think, I think she changed my mind about pit bulls. I just, uh, like I've, I've dealt with pit bulls in the past. Like I've taken care of them. I've hung out with them, but then like, I think this is like, this is maybe the fourth pit bull in my life that I just like been around. And I think, uh, this is the one that made me think like, yeah, I think I kind of want a pit bull. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Kept with a big old raid. 
Did you have your corn? Uh, who we got in here? Kev, welcome. How is your unicorn? Insty, Zayna, uh, Lumika, Koala, that guy Starsky, Yee Yee Yee, Ori, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Is corn for chumps? Not corn's chill. What's your favorite form of, of sorry, form of corn? I like corn nuts. Corn nuts are lit. Sea bugs in the house. Elote? Oh, you guys like elote? Elote is good. I just think I would take corn nuts over it. Candy? <laughs> Candy corn? Corn nuts are goaded? I know, right? Corn the band is lit. Corn's lit. Corn was my favorite band from like uh, sixth to seventh grade. And anytime I have a chance to see corn, I'll, I'll go see them now. Want to find an elote lady in the mission now? Do it. Go right now. A lot of these very, uh, very slow shutter speeds. <laughs> Oops. What is this? This was possibly 2470? What was it? Oh, no, this was the fifth. I don't know what this is. This might have been my 50 prime, but I didn't open it up. Oh, here I did. I miss Phoebe. She was so cute. I was so sad when I had to leave. And then I think my brother was even more sad when he had to drop her back off. Can you riff on how you do film scans? Yes. All right. One second. Let me show this here. Uh, shit. This is kind of in the way, but we'll try our best. Um, ah, is this even the best? I guess. Yeah. Okay. This right here. Which is the same thing as this right here. I don't know which camera angle is better, but this is a this is a Kaiser copy stand, um, and I have a Nikon D750 DSLR mounted to it with a uh, a macro lens, the 105 millimeter f 2.8. This pointed downwards to a, a mount where I can feed in like a whole roll, or I guess smaller strips of uh, of 35 millimeter film. And uh, essentially, I have this tethered all the way into my machine. So by, by a USB cable, I plug it in. And from within Lightroom, um, you could run a tether mode where you can just uh, click this button to take the shots. Um, the mount has a 95 CRI light just blasting from the bottom through the film. Um, and it's a lot brighter than most lights that are built for this, which is really nice. So that way, um, I could um you know make the shutter speed much much faster and a, and a much much smaller aperture to kind of just reduce any vibrations and just bring out all the quality of the uh, the actual film um, so right now we're just taking like these raw photos of the negatives as the scans and then there's a plug-in from within lightroom um, that i purchased called negative lab pro that runs uh inversion like algorithms in here um really really effectively on the uh the negatives so uh we'll be seeing that shortly this is our fourth roll out of five so what i'm doing is i'm just getting the negatives right now and once i finish um uh this roll and the following one um we'll run all those uh inversion processes after and we'll see what they look like so <clears throat> 
Koala and Yee Yee, thank you for the uh, contributions. Yes, if you guys want to see me activate Windows um, so that you guys don't have to see this anymore right here. Uh, <laughs> we are, uh, I don't know, how, how far are we? We have nearly 10%, we have uh, 7, almost 8% uh, of our uh, 10 million point goal. Uh, I will be renewing it, uh, so don't fret on the seven days left. Uh, this will keep going for the next, uh, you know, probably two years. Uh, unborn, welcome. Let me get that hydrated. Uh, so anyways, um, for those who missed it, um, uh, my brother and I, uh, over the holidays for about a week, we fostered uh, this... Uh, this two-year-old pit bull. She was 70 pounds and had huge nipples because I guess she just had babies. Um, and she was, she was so cute. <laughs> she was so cute. I think pit bulls, pit bulls have really sweet eyes. And they have really cute floppy ears. By the time we get to 10 million, the next version of Windows will be out. True, true. What is this? I don't know what this picture is. Oh. Oh, I do. Okay, this is when I went to go stay with Andrew for a lull. Oh, I guess that was my last photo of Phoebe. So sad. Ava, welcome. There are currently two activate windows watermarks on my screen. I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, it's $5 already. Dude, Avo, it is not $5. It is 10 million channel points. I think you guys have a really weird measure of uh, currency. It is not $5. It is 10 million points. Unbelievable. Channel points are free. I guess it's free then. <laughs> I'm not contributing to this channel point goal in the name of open source software. this oh berries all right that's the end of the roll all right we got one more roll and it is of keyboards and it's possibly what my next uh instagram reel will be i don't know if you guys have seen my last instagram reel of my keyboards but it was the last time that i did one of these uh you know just a bunch of shots from the collection and uh, I recently did another one of these uh, these little shoots, so. I was thinking of maybe making a zine out of these. I 
I just am not really sure. I gotta figure out paper and layout and I don't know. Costs. Oh, one thing is I unfortunately didn't take a picture of my falcon with a zooted, uh, but actually probably a good thing because I don't really like zooted on it. You guys voted on zooted to go on my falcon and uh, I've taken it out, but eh. I, I kind of want to change it. Uh, but also on top of that, it was also because I uh, ran out of exposures at the end. <laughs> There's a couple of boards here I shot twice. And uh, it left me no room for that one last board. Oh, what was that? Oh shit, sorry. Kill comment, welcome. You guys hear that? That was crazy. See, I'm thinking I probably want to do some more in-depth photo shoots. Oh, this is one. This is the uh, minivan, the getaway van with this platoon back. Um, I want to do more, uh, <laughs> more shots that aren't just this, presumably on medium format because I haven't done it in a while, and also because uh, I have a lot of medium format film that's just kind of been sitting for a while. I blow that whatever it's fine This is the back of the Dodgy, the Seisetto, which I really liked. Oh, this is the uh, Mirror HG, which I will admit, as much as I, it's not that I disliked it, it's not that I was disappointed, 
It's just that it's just too damn heavy, and I think I'm over heavy boards. But it does look really nice, doesn't it? Well, a little hard to tell because it's a negative, but I can tell it looks nice. Oh, I think this is the K-Mac LE that we did very recently. Oh, fush! Welcome, welcome. Mad Asian, welcome! Oh, I need to... You know what I might do over the next uh, couple of off days? So I'm probably going to come back on Tuesday for the next build. Uh, I think that's going to be the CL60, the brass, full brass CL60. Um, but between Monday and then Wednesday, I'm probably going to work on uh, mailing things out. Which, nicely enough now, is mostly flat stuff. Very happy about that. I was just saying, if Microsoft uh, continues the trend of every other OS being good, then Windows 12 is hopefully going to be good. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? Is that, like, there is literally no logical reason to count on that. You know, like, just because the general impression has been that it's, like, every other one's been good, doesn't mean that that's, like, the pattern that Microsoft is opting to follow. Like, yep, it's time to make a bad one. <laughs> yeah. For all we know, Windows 12 could also be bad. And, and then the one after that too. You know, what if they just have three straight misses? What if they just have four straight misses? <laughs> Refuse to believe otherwise. There has to be some Microsoft was like, you know what? It's been a minute since we released a shitty OS. <laughs> or what if they just have like three straight great OSs? You know, like what if it's just like perfect? Like they nailed it every single time. Bam, 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 you know?
then hell will have frozen over. Oh, this is the unbuilt Taycan, which I don't know when we'll be able to build. I've got to get that PCB. All right, last of the roll here. Yeah, what the fuck? Hold up. What happened? Oh, weird. This one is randomly overexposed. I wonder if I accidentally knocked the uh, exposure button. I don't know what I did. All right. Well, this concludes the scanning portion of this stream. I, uh, let's do some inversions. How the hell is everything so slow? Wants to rotate it all. Oh my god, everything so crazy slow. I feel like you should be able to crop from the library module. It's absurd that you have to go through this whole nonsense every single time and it's just way slower. Like you can rotate from the library module. Oh, stream playlist done. Let me look up if you could do that. This it just feels absurd. Crop from library module Lightroom. Classic. R. Does that work here? Oh, no. But it does bring you here, so. If I do this, oh, 
Good lord. That is incredible. Hold on, I wonder if... Does it speed up when I turn on the uh, the thing we had to turn off to get the color balance to work in NLP? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh... Oh, yeah, it does. It is faster. Okay, so... I have to turn that off. Just to do the color balancing. In NLP. This this chugs way less because uh, and it makes sense. I just don't really understand why that thing doesn't work when you have it on. And I have to wonder like what performance looks like on like Apple Silicon. I'm very curious, very curious. I I really want to get a new like MacBook or something, or Mac Studio or Mac Mini. Oh, side note, nothing to do with anything, but uh, Dolly Cohen's site is uh, fixed. Someone fixed Dolly Cohen's website. So this thing is back. <laughs> she got one of these uh, line tooth gems. I want to remove that one. Oh, I had another jewel. What do you guys think? Should I get this? How do those actually attach to your teeth again? Um, there's like a it's instructions. Uh, It's like a, yeah, like a UV. Her instructions say to go to your dentist to ask them to do this, which I'm guessing would probably be via like whatever glue they use uh, for like braces. 3M Transbond XT glue. I mean, I guess I could try doing this myself. <laughs> Use Gorilla Glue? Hell yeah. I do like the line ones. I used to not like the line ones so much. But I think I've, I've learned to like it. I like how they let you rotate the circular ones.
I don't know. I kind of, I really want, I really want these. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I tried asking about commissioning a cool S, but I haven't, I never heard back. Anyways. Maybe I'll ping one more time or I'll email one more time and, uh, We'll, uh, we'll see. And if no response, maybe I'll just buy those. Just two of those bars. Those lines. All right. Role analysis. When did I send it to her? Oh, this was back in November. Wait, actually, hold on. Maybe, you know when I... Uh... When I tried reaching out... Oh, okay, hold on, I gotta... There's a different contact address on this website. When I tried reaching out in November, her website was broken. So I found a random email that used to be attached to a Tumblr and I sent it to that. But uh, this one's different. It's just info at dollycohen.com. <laughs> so I'll resend this. I'll resend this after stream. Well, there's a hair. Oh, shit. I wonder how... This shows up everywhere. No, it doesn't. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, this is five. At some point, because uh, I, I brought some of these boards outside and then it started getting darker. And then there was a point where... Uh, it was getting darker uh, in the evening, so then I started taking them all in and and shooting these in. And I'm wondering, yeah, these colors look a little funny, that's for sure. Uh, but we can we can adjust these, I think. So uh, let me hit apply. But uh, one thing now is that I have to re turn off the graphics acceleration. There we go. Whoa, that was a little too much. Okay, uh, I like this a lot. 12.9, 23.4. I wonder how easy it is to apply this. Let's see.
Oh, that's interesting. This looks a lot like the uh, the other sink, but it is different. That's crazy. Now, things like this, this is my fault. Um, because I'm just, it's a little hard to figure out how to expose. Um, uh, hold on, let's see this. Oh boy. This came out all crazy, didn't it? Oh, no, 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 that was good. Okay, let's try for that. Uh, well, this one should also be brightened up a bit. Aha, sweet. Oh, this is the other one. Ah, oh, you know what I fucked up on is I didn't get the the rear piece. Oops. Uh, I have another shot though. Do I? <laughs> I still didn't really get it. Fuck. All right, that was my fault. Um, let me copy this. Copy. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Yo, that was not chill. Okay, there we go. Bro, I was chugging. That's the fucking problem. <laughs> you have to, um, as if it's just not working. Um, in order for this white balance feature to work from within this plugin, um, you have to turn off the GPU acceleration, which is a fucked up thing, you know? 12.9, 23.4. It just slows everything down. It's crazy. All right. So I think then the main thing here is to try to figure out where the color balance is wrong. Try to redo it for some of these. Um, and then turn the acceleration back on so that we don't have to deal with all this bullshit. Uh. Hmm.
Wait, what? Oh, this is so annoying. Good God. Okay, minus point three and ten point seven. And then a lot of these show. And then my cursor disappears. All right, and these get boosted up. This goes up a bit too, I think. Eight, was it eight? Ten. Oh shit, wrong one. Thirty four and twenty. Yo, it's like it never changed. This one's worth revisiting later. This one's the frog mini. This one, this one's rough because it's hard to get these colors right. Really hard. Um, No, the shadows. It's just hard to fucking tell because it's a stupid light behind me. <laughs> uh. This is what, uh, 
Was this pink on navy? I think it was pink on navy. All right, this one's crazy because that's the desert, desert base botanical. But I think the powder coated beige on this Hello M0110 is just even more deserty. So it just makes this look a lot whiter. Oh shit, this is the derivative. Hard to tell that it is though. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these are going to need a lot more adjustments. This one looks pretty cool though. This one's a X sixty V one FE. Take on there's a bunch of little specks on the picture. This board doesn't look like this. There's no bullshit on this. <laughs> this is the picture.
Oh, this is rough. Cause you know what? This is uh, it's supposed to be regal. Oh shit. And I remembered when I was trying to get the shot, I was like, oh, this this doesn't look right. Even like, it's hard to meter for for regal for sure. Damn. Yeah, probably something like this. Regal's a weird set, because I was anticipating it to be a little more purple, but it's just like very dark. All right, well, a lot of these will need a lot more work, but I should hopefully cover it. Um, there's some of these outdoor ones, but it's just like the lighting is just way less controlled. It's nice that it's a bit softer. Now here's what I find crazy. Um, I don't know how you guys see this, but for me, this is like super grainy. Um, I know that's like an effect of Portrait 800, um, but uh, I did develop this, you know, without pushing. It still came out like this. I wonder if, I don't know. 
And they probably just need to develop it even less than this. I think that's something worth trying. Oops. Damn, that is crazy saturated. Oh, this shit's chugging. Even now. He said, is this, uh, oh, good question. <laughs> um, it's funny because I think it's a mix. So this is an outdated set, but, uh, oh, it looks like classic blue Numro with, uh, a GMK LZ white blue. But uh, I did take this GMK escape key from that LZ white blue, um, whatever it was. The, uh, it was like the blue mods from the, the LZ white blue. Mixed sets? Blasphemy. Lily looks awesome. Lily looks great. Oh my god. <laughs>
This one's a funny one because this looks pretty distorted. This is the IDB. I didn't even know about the LZ white blue set. It was like 2016, I think it was run. I, I got it in like 2021 or so. Um, mix sets all the time. Hell yeah. good no 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 it's just taking so long I feel like I need to restart Lightroom I'm gonna do it I'm gonna restart Lightroom it's just it I feel like uh <laughs> I don't know It's like sometimes you just need a power cycle. I think this was when uh, I was like, ah, it's getting a little, it's getting a little dark out. Okay, so you can see it's a little rough here, not being fully exposed right there. Yeah. Sup, Sigiri, welcome. <clears throat> How goes it? Are you a 40 user? Uh, no. I just have this board. I have... This is actually my second 40. I have another 40 that I never touch. And this one I'll probably also never touch. This is just for display. Because it's got a... Splatoon PCB. Are you someone that can game using 40? Uh, I mean, I hardly ever game on a keyboard, so... <laughs> Anyone that can do it is insane. <laughs> I saw a Splatoon stream Nintendo gamer, I assume. Yep. Yup. This looks really bizarre, this shot.
I love Nintendo games, but fuck Nintendo. <laughs> They're trying to sue Yuzu, and I hope they lose. I don't know what Yuzu is. This is... This is the Monoflex. He's... Oh, that's right. Yeah, the emulator. Got it. I remember reading about that. Yeah, it's probably not good if they win that one. Oh, there we go. Is this illegal and don't provide any decryption keys? Nintendo are trying to sue on wrong premises here. Hope they lose. Do you use Yuzu? What Nintendo games do you play apart from Splatoon? Mostly just Splatoon, but I did recently play the new Super Mario RPG remake and... I've been very, very, very slowly playing Wonder. Super Mario Wonder. A, a big emphasis on slowly. Like, there are some days where I just play, like, one level. Nintendo would sue for breathing on the box art of one of their IPs that they could. Of course, I will emulate games I own. Hmm. So that brown is a little too bright. It's the best way to deal with that. Damn, that's tough.
I would have recommended you uh, Xenoblade, but you'll spend hundreds of hours on these games. I had the one for the Wii U, and I played it for like an hour. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was mostly just confused by that game. Because <laughs> I, I couldn't understand... It, it was a really good looking game, like art style wise. But I, I think I was just confused by the combat. Like it, it felt like, am I doing anything? <laughs> I really just don't play those types of games, I, I guess. So it's, it's a me problem. The combat system is a little complex. You know, again, like, I only played, like, an hour of it, and it was, like... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, or... It's just that, like, I could understand it was complex. Like, I could fathom that it, there was something that I had to do, and I just wasn't doing it. And so, because I wasn't doing it, but, like, things were still happening i was like what what am i doing it's similar to um monster hunter i played some monster hunter and <laughs> it's, it's the same thing <laughs> it's just like i could tell i could tell you have to have to do you have to do something and i just did not click <laughs> it's an auto attack combat with bar filling up you have to use yeah exactly exactly basically like an MMO. I think that's my thing is just like I don't really I don't really play like these types of games so oh shit what did I do all right so this one's a funny one because it's just like I'm not sure how this is presenting but it's supposed to be like that plum color for the uh, BD-60. Infernal pick looks sick. You like it? And this one's a funny one too, because I'm not sure if this is presenting correctly, to be honest. The problem with JRPG, they don't give you all the tools outright, so slowly they give you the stuff and it takes hours before you get them. Xenoblade 2 is notorious for that. The hell happened here? It looked good for a second and then now it doesn't.
pretty much right. You had not much to do early. Yeah, like seriously, what the fuck is going on? Some of this stuff is just undoing itself. Whoa, shit. It's not for everyone, so I definitely won't understand. Uh, Mario is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's just funny because I, I guess I just don't game that much, other than Splatoon. <laughs> a couple years back, I was playing a bunch of Borderlands, Borderlands Three, specifically Borderlands Three. They played more violent type games. I mean, I love them. Uh, Splatoon's pretty violent. <laughs> if you ask me, I think Splatoon is very violent. All right. Kind of think I'm over this. So uh, let's go back. We did uh, avoid three other rolls. So I'm just going to do these real fast. And by real fast, I mean... All right. How are we now? Better? my stats thing go view stats oh, shit view stats better are we better i hope we're better also because i restarted stream uh you guys could probably contribute more points <laughs> drop your new points in we good now I apologize for that. Or some of you guys might be able to drop in new uh, points. <laughs> there you go. Nice, it worked.
How are we on time? Oh shit, it's almost one. Alright, yeah, we gotta breeze through these uh, three rolls here. And uh, choose one of these to uh, give away. I was looking at new apartments, or just like doing a little bit of online apartment hunting. Uh, I've been trying to look for dog friendly apartments. Um, but like also just generally like an improvement over what I currently have. And it's obviously not easy. You know, it's like, I want to find something that's at least a tiny, at least a tiny bit bigger than what I currently have and is dog friendly, but like also still has at the very least just what my current apartment has. Um, and, uh, it's not easy. There seems to be nothing in this area that meets all of that. Like, in, in this neighborhood of San Francisco. And then even if you look outside of this neighborhood, then it, like, starts getting really expensive. <sighs> All right. Uh, this is probably fine. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what this all looks like. All right. Out of focus. Out of focus. Out of focus. Out of focus. <laughs> oh, I got some phones in focus. All right. Still pretty bad, but less bad. Um, same. 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 Pretty bad. Out of focus. Out of focus. Focus is for chumps that can see. <laughs> Alright. Pretty bad. Alright. This one's like not good. But I would say not as bad as all the rest so far. <laughs> it's, uh, frame number 23. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay. Yep. This one was the only one that is possibly usable. Number 23. Very cool. Excellent. All right, I found this house. Uh, I think this is in the lower height. Had a bunch of crazy stuff on it. And this was like February. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Got the gargoyles on the, uh, the stoop. Pretty lit. Oh yes, kill comma. Guys, uh, I had to restart stream, so uh, just make sure that you guys uh, get your possibly third contributions in. I bet the gargoyle house is dog friendly. True, but it's probably not for rent. All right. What? Oh, I didn't select everything. I'm back from watching Spider-Man no, no Way Home while I worked, and I low-key cried. 
Huh. That's chill. I haven't seen a Spider-Man since uh, the first Sam Raimi one. But I did really like, uh, you know, that clip that um, that surfaced with the third Sam Raimi one where uh, he did this thing. You know? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that clip was lit. The one where he dances? Yeah. <laughs> Iconic moment, true cinema. Yep. All the people are <laughs> so good. It's crazy how good that was. They should put that in every movie. Every, well, every every Spider-Man movie, but I guess also, yeah, every movie should have that. Dune 2, starring Tobey Maguire. They referenced it in the Spider-Verse movie? Oh, that's good. That's awesome. All right, I don't know where this starts and ends. Ditto this one. Maybe here? I don't know. And also this one. Maybe here? Spider-Man. They should add uh, more uh, animal heroes to all of these uh, comic universes, like Dogman. Is there a Dogman? I'm gonna go get some crackers real quick. Is that not just a fur? <laughs> I mean, are not the rest of these heroes that are based on animals furries? Like, isn't Batman technically a furry? <laughs> Pretty sure there's a Dogman comic by the same dude that did Captain Un Underpants. Oh. Hey, I know her. You guys know her?
Took me a sec, then I saw her bag. Oh shit, is this Vin's wedding? Uh, yeah. They're probably American. Oh, these Ritz crackers. They got some interesting Ritz crackers flavors. This one's garlic butter. And it's like... Really subtle. But it's good. It just mostly tastes like salty Ritz. But then there's like a little bit of garlic butter in it. I just wanted to mention that. There's also uh, the other one I had earlier is a roasted vegetable. And then really subtle. Look, this is a uh, this is Angel's. Oh shit! What the fuck? This is Angel's uh, kids ramen. It's just noodles and broth with nothing else. <laughs> I like this. It looks like you got punched. There it is. This is the picture I was waiting for. This is a really good picture. I'm a fan. Great picture, A+. Plus. Good work, Chris. You've done it again. You've done it again, Chris. Good picture. Out of focus. All right. Cool. Great pictures. All right. One more roll left. Oh, yes. The ones with Phoebe. My big nipple baby. Look at that, look at her big nipples. Have dog? No, 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 no. This was the dog we fostered over the holidays. I miss her. I feel like if I had a bigger apartment, or if I lived in a big house, I would have adopted her. But I, uh, I don't live in a big house, my mom does. But my mom is way too small to take care of this big ass dog. I don't know if you could tell, but she's like 70 pounds, the, the dog. Mm. 
nipple dog. He has big ass. She's two years old, 70 pounds, and had big ass nipples. My two friends uh, who have dogs who saw pictures immediately said, oh, she just had babies. I'm like, yeah, I guess. But I mean, I don't know where the babies are. All I see are some big nipples. They're like udders. Pets with typical people names always throw me off. I know. <laughs> she was so cute. I think my mom knew, so then, like, whenever she was, like, texting us, she'd always, like, spell it all wrong. Probably just to dehumanize her. <laughs> She spelled like Phoebe, F-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E. That or a tiny cat like that. Oh, uh, it's always been my dream to get a really tiny dog and name it something like Destroyer or Blurry. So when I call it, when I call it in, this little stumpy dog comes in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really fond of like the most generic dog names, you know, like Spot or like Rover or Fido. Because like no one names their dogs that. Like, the only dogs that are named that are, like, in cartoons. Or they're just, like, made-up dogs. I always wanted to get, like, a dog with just, like, a perfect singular coat. Just, like, one singular color. Uh, like, perfect coat. And then name it Spot. Like the most perfect brown dog. Name it Spot. I'm like, yeah, it's got a brown spot. Ironic names. I had one of those turtles you get from Chinatown and named it Speedy. <laughs> you guys remember that one line from uh, Futurama? <laughs> it's like, wow, it's so fast. You make Speedy Gonzalez look like regular Gonzalez.
No, Joke and Bob's Burgers. Like, why do you call him a regular sized Rudy? It's like, I mean, just look at him. I was in uni, one of my classmates always told these crazy stories about a guy named Miguel eating random things off the streets, making friends with a pack of hobos, and leaving at 2 a.m. to go camping with them, and coming back two weeks later, etc., etc. And then I found out Miguel was his roommate's dog when we got together for the final study session. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh shit, Miguel's a dog? <laughs> All right, I feel like all of these indoor ones here of Phoebe can be probably re-inverted. So what if I cancel these, all of these, and then do one through 17 separately? That didn't really help. I'll be honest here. That did next to nothing. I think she she is very um, toy motivated. So I think she kept thinking that the harness was a toy. That or she just really didn't like it on her. Man, I really want to... Fuck, I might do that thing. That thing I hate doing. Turning this uh, GPU acceleration off so I could do the white balance and then it's like all horrible. Oh, I got me a cracker, man. It's too good. Simply too good.
Fuck, come on, man. All right, let's go with this. Hmm, I don't hate this. It's not really, it's not really accurate, but it's not bad. Whoa. Hold up. Maybe. It's better. It's not great. Uh, Too dark, man. Come on, man. Bro. Oh. Oh. Trying to get her shade right. It's a little hard. So what sucks about this is that like trying to adjust this manually like caps you at negative 75 to positive 75. Which kind of makes no sense. One thing I gotta wonder is if I unconvert and then set the saturation to low. Cause it's, damn, I want more of these crackers. These crackers are too good. Um, there's no way to desaturate her cause she wasn't that brown, I don't think. I mean, maybe she was.
Not much has changed, I'll be honest. Now some of these might need to just be individually done. <laughs> these pictures are too good. All right, I'm probably just gonna call it here. No, look at her eyes. All right, let's figure out which one of these we want to print. Oh, let's turn on the GPU acceleration again because I can hear it chugging. All right, how about this one? Let's turn the brightness down a little. All right. Let's run it. Uh, let me get marbles open first. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Here's the print. Got to choose a sticker. Shit, hit me with those suggestions from earlier. Rudism? Rudism is playing WoW with a dance pad. That's what it seems like. Gundam? Alrighty. Aye. Or cute bot. Oh, or uh, Via Amber. Who's playing Valorant? Oh, the dance pad. Let's go there. Sounds lit. I think uh, that's what I understand. Let's yeah, let's check them out. I I think that's what's happening. Uh, don't blame me if that's not it. Uh, other than that, I will uh, probably. Oh, here's here's the commands. Watagaki. Uh, Discord. Merch. Buy my merch. Um, raid message if you're subs and raid message if you're not. Um, I'll probably be back um, Tuesday. So 48 hours from now. All right. Enjoy it. Good night.